Well, hey, my friends, it's Catherine from CatherinePooler.com. I'm excited to reveal the Angel Wings Bundle. So in this bundle, you get the Angel Wings dies, the Believe in Angels stamp set, and the Angel Word die. So these Angel Wings are a little something special. They are so detailed and really gorgeous, and they are going to be great for holiday card making, as well as beyond encouragement cards and cards to send to loved ones. So you're going to get a lot of use out of these products. So here is a close-up look at the detail on this die. So when I use detailed dies like this, my favorite die cutting machine to use is the Gemini Junior. I find that I get the best cuts one time through that machine. It just, uh, it works really, really well. So you can see i I put this through my Gemini and all these little pieces are just popping right out. If you have a hand crank or another machine, you may want to experiment a little bit with different shims to see what uh, pressure your particular machine needs to get a clean cut like this. So when we were creating these dies, I could not wait to emboss them. So here is a look at five different sets of embossed angel wings. And so let's have a little embossing fun here. So the first one I'm gonna do is the Midas Touch Embossing Glitter. So this is a metallic powder with chunks of glitter and some of these chunks are really super big and they're holographic. So it's a really gorgeous look. So I poured a ton of the powder on. I'll funnel that back into my container later. But I, f I poured it on and then I just kind of pulled the wings out of the pile of embossing glitter and moved them to a fresh sheet. And you can see here that I didn't really shake them off too much. I didn't want all that big chunky glitter to fall off. And then I'm just heating, heating it straight on. I'm using my lower speed, um, of the, of the blower. I don't know the technical terms here, you guys, <laughs> but I'm using the lower speed and so to try to avoid some of that blowing off. And the result is something pretty gorgeous. If you head over to my blog, the links will be below in the description. I'll give you better looks, uh, close-up looks at this on the blog. And here's a look at the opposite wing. You can see a little bit better on this one, all that holographic glitter. The second one is Sandcastle. This is our new embossing glitter with WOW. It is uh, coordinating with our Sandcastle ink and it has some really gorgeous gold and glitter in it. Uh, so I'm just pouring this over and it does have some bigger chunky pieces too. So I'm gonna be careful to just move my wings over and not shake it off and to keep some of those bigger pieces on there as well, just like I did with the Midas Touch. So here's a close up look and I felt like I wanted more glitter and just a heavier uh, application of embossing embossing powder on there. So I dipped it again into my embossing pad and added embossing powder glitter on it and heated it again. I'm feeling pretty satisfied with this one and can't wait to add it to a card. Next up is metallic gold sparkle. We'll just do some straight on glittery gold wings. When I was creating these, I thought about what if what if you did these in like a bright pink or even a light pink or purple uh, embossing glitter? How great would this be for a girl's birthday? Oh my gosh. So these wings are really versatile. They're definitely more than meets the eye. So here is our new bundled up trio of embossing glitters. So this is Skylight and I want my wings to be... Um, really blue, maybe even more blue than I would get if I just used the embossing glitter alone. So I'm gonna use direct to paper with my wings and I'm gonna make them blue with the Skylight ink pad. And then I'm gonna press them down on my embossing pad to get them tacky so they will hold the embossing glitter. And then I will just pour the Skylight embossing glitter over it. Look at how gorgeous that powder is. So beautiful. I really love these powders, you guys. So this is another one that has a bit of chunk to it. So I'll just move it over to a fresh sheet, heat it, and I'm gonna get gorgeous skylight embossed glittery <laughs> angel wings. This bundle up trio also includes sage and peppermint scrub. So those will all be in the shop on September 18th. So here are the five sets of wings that I made. Actually, the one in the upper left-hand corner I did with Wanderlust embossing glitter, which is a clear glitter. I didn't actually use it in this one, but you'll see it in another video in the future. Here is uh, the gold sparkle embossed wings just on a simple white card base with a layer in the You Are My Angel sentiment. 
For the next card, we're going to add a little more. So I took the Vintage Baubles background stamp, which is also releasing in this larger collection. It's all about Christmas. And I just stamped it in Sandcastle on the background. And then I did Angel. And then you'll see later I decided to use a longer or a sentiment that needed that S. So I stamped it again, did Angels, Believe in Angels, and then a little small white layer there to attach the gold wings to, popped it up on Dimensionals, added some chocolate cardstock, and that is it for this card. So for the next card, I wanted to create like a halo effect around the wings. So I cut out another set of wings and you'll notice I cut it out of the center of a piece of cardstock and then I um, left all the little pieces inside. I covered it with two-way glue. It's two-way glue when you uh, apply it and then let it dry. It's going to be a temporary adhesive, kind of like a post-it note. And then I used the mask to be a guide for where to put my wings because basically now I'm using these as a mask. I'm using one of my smaller life-changing ink blending brushes and my limoncello ink pad. And I'm, it looks kind of right now like I'm just covering the wings with limoncello, but really what I'm doing is going very small, like just outside of that outline there of the wings. And then when I remove the mask, it created this gorgeous, halo effect. And then I'm just going to take my uh, Midas Touch embossed glittered wings, adhere them inside the halo, and then I'll be ready to add my sentiment. I used the negative from when I die cut the wings as kind of a template. I used Hark the Herald Angel Sing, so this is a really great Christmas card from the sentiment set. And I was able to just line these up really well using that that piece is a template and then just bringing in my full card. You can see I do not have the wings fully attached and adhered down all the way because I wanted that extra dimension of them not quite, oh, well, kind of give them a little bit of a floating effect there. So for the next card, I'm going to use the skylight wings and the angel word die. This Angel Word Die, uh, hand lettered by Shauna Klingerman. It's absolutely stunning. It has this gorgeous elegance to it. And I think it really goes great with this whole little collection. So I just ink blended a little bit of Skylight onto watercolor paper. I wanted to get kind of a dreamy watercolor speckled effect there. And I just ink blended some on. I, I spritzed some water and then I just kind of let it dry, dried it with a heat tool and just kind of played around till I got an effect that I was happy with. So now it's time to put all our pieces together. I die cut a vellum circle uh, from our vellum cardstock. You'll find that in our shop. And I'm just going to adhere the wings to the vellum piece. And I want this to glue flat or flat-ish. <laughs> so I grab one of our larger blocks. Uh, I always find these really nice to kind of weigh down uh, something that you're trying to adhere that may need a little coaxing. And then I took the angel die. This is just cut out of white cardstock, uh, added Nuvo liquid glue. I did your Anne. I embossed that in white on black. And because there's a lot of bumpiness going on here, now I grabbed my largest block. So this large block, you'll find it in our shop, and it's really great for all sorts of things. This is one use of it. Another use I like to put different, a lot of different stamps on one big block, and then you can kind of make your own custom background stamp. It's kind of a cool way to use it. So then I'm just going to add some liquid glue to the back, adhere it to the watercolored uh, technique background, and add this to my card front. And I'm really a big fan of this card. I think it came out really well. So the Angel Wings Bundle hits the shop on Wednesday, September 18th. You can purchase the items individually or get a discount when you purchase the bundle. And we've seen how you can take these gorgeous embossed angel wings, add them to a very clean and simple card, or you can add more stamping, more layers. You can add a halo, you can add, or add techniques, and you can really create some gorgeous pieces of art with these angel wings. I also thought if you're a mixed media artist, these will be fantastic for you. So thanks for viewing my video today. If you're new, I hope you'll subscribe to my channel and I will see you again soon.